Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Back to Back with Passion, just because... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it, because, um, you probably got my excuses, but anyway, um, so, I didn't really have an idea for a video yesterday, but I got one this morning, because I was going to do a Thanksgiving one today, so then I thought, you know what, I have an idea, so I'm going to do one today, and one this afternoon, so the today is kind of based on the episode that I just watched this morning, called The Sermon. In that episode, John Boy points out that there are, we all believe in the same faith, we all follow the same faith, but there are different ways that we express it and perceive it. He explains that to Grandpa, Grandpa told him that God is everywhere and everything, and if we embrace that, then, um, so, then we... Better off. So Grandpa's faith in the Wallens is pretty much he worships God in what he has created in the the trees and the animals and even humans himself, but he also loves singing the hymns as well, so he loves worshiping God as well. Whereas grandma, she prefers she's the most faith based of them all. She wants her kid want her grandchildren to be very involved in the church, which is kind of why she's happy when John Boy is supposed to give the sermon. And she makes sure that all of the grandchildren know that God is the only way to live. But she isn't opposed to the fire and brimstone method of scaring people into their faith. And then we come to Olivia. She is a very church-going person, so she believes that you find God in the church. But she isn't opposed to expressing her faith outside the church and sharing her beliefs outside the church, which she does that quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to cover the children because their faith is a little bit harder. I don't know if I'll be covering this John Boy, and then I'll kind of get into my faith a little bit. Um, so now we come to John. Now, he doesn't go to church... All that often, he probably goes on Christmas and Easter, and if John was preaching, I guess. Um, but he still worships in his own way. He still believes in God, but not the type of God that Olivia and Grandma believe in. But he's also always there for his kids, and is always there for his problems. So he kind of shows that God is always there. When we have a problem or when we sin and we need someone to forgive us. And a song that I always come to mind is whenever one of the children goes to John with one of their problems or because they need help with something, it always reminds me of the song, of Matt Marr's song, um, Run to the Father. And you can check that out or you can check out, I did a cover of it on my other channel, you can check that out too if you want. Um, but he's always there for his children when they need him, just as if, just when God's always there for us. So, that's kind of that reminds me of. Let me come to John Boy. Now, John Boy says that he always finds, he reads lots of books, but he finds his answers in books. But he said that, so I read books and I got some answers, but I didn't get the answers. So then he talked with his grandpa and I got another answer. So John Boy, would he he reads what he he reads what he could find in books, and asks people, and then he builds his faith off of what he thinks is right in that is what I'm assuming is going on. Now for me, um, I believe what my parents believe, and I always have, but my faith is a little bit different. There's because that's the great best thing about having a relationship with God. Is you can make it your own. You don't have a relationship like your parents or someone else, you can have it your own. And one of the ways I love expressing my faith or just is just music, because I love music so much that when I listen to music, sometimes I just feel God there with me. And um, when I became a Christian, I was seven, so I didn't really, I just heard what it meant, but I didn't really understand all that came with it. I didn't understand that you had to read your Bible every day and grow your relationship with God, so I just left it. Of course, I went to church every Sunday, and I read my Bible in Sunday school and in church, but other than that, I didn't really pick it up all that, that much. And then, I did start reading my Bible, but, um, so, this is my old Bible, I have one upstairs, but this one, um, 
in the back of it is a reading plan, and I started doing that, but the only problem was they want you to read one to four chapters a day, which is a lot. And lots of Bibles do have reading plans, so I read that for quite a bit. But then I just abandoned it because it wasn't working for me. So then I said, you know what, I'm going to read through the New Testament. So I chose what I wanted to read, like my parents had been doing, and I did that. And I read every day, and I would read just, I would read sections, because in each chapter there's sections that are like different stories or different messages. I would read those, but I wouldn't read the whole thing. I'd divide up, so I read like three to five verses a day sometimes. And even then... I still felt a little bit distant from God, um, so I started journaling, and I promised if I journal every day, even if I just wrote tired, but sometimes there was just a deeper message I needed to put on paper, and that's what I did. So, my faith has grown over the years, and I'm really proud of that, and uh, like I said, I do express my faith through music quite a bit. And my friends listen to completely different music than me, so it makes sense. I listen to a lot of contemporary Christian stuff in church. I sing as loud as I can. I try to get on the worship team, but that's getting a little harder. But so that's going to be much for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification when I'll see you this afternoon for a Thanksgiving special. Right, see you.